A former camera assistant who worked on the Ellen DeGeneres show has spoken out about what it's like to work behind the scenes with Ellen. And she said it's basically like the devil wears Prada. I love me some Meryl Streep as Miranda Priestly, but I sure as hell don't want to work for her. <laughs> What's gravy, y'all? This is Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte, serving you spicy trending news updates since 2015. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and if you like this video, you'll love the playlist that's clickable at the top of your screen. Should we make an Ellen is mean playlist? <laughs> I feel like we've done so many videos on Ellen at this point, like we kind of need it. In the midst of the Ellen show being under investigation by Warner Media, more and more of Ellen DeGeneres' former staffers have spoken out about their experience working on the show. They just keep coming out of the woodwork. I will let you guys know that most of the people who have chosen to speak out against Ellen have done so anonymously, with the exception of a former DJ and a former producer. Working on set is kind of like this thing where like, you gotta be grateful that you're even there, because so many people would rather be in your position, but you put up with a lot in certain circumstances. What's worse about it is, is you can't really speak out about your treatment because once word gets out that you've done so, other crews are less likely to hire you. But as always, you should take these accusations with a grain of salt. They are anonymous. How many of you have ever seen or read The Devil Wears Prada? Leave a like if you have. The Devil Wears Prada is a story about a mean fashion magazine editor rumored to be Anna Wintour, aka editor in chief of Vogue magazine. The story follows an assistant who gets a job at the fashion magazine and has to navigate the harsh landscape of the fashion world while also having a cruel boss played by Meryl Streep in the movie. It was honestly a great movie, one of my favorite roles Meryl Streep has ever played. She brought a lot of humor to the part. Uh, yeah, no, she was amazing. But although watching The Devil Wears Prada on screen is comedic, living through it wouldn't be funny at all. A woman who claims she used to work as a camera assistant on The Ellen Show has compared her year working there to The Devil Wears Prada. She spoke to the Australian radio show Stab Abby and Matt on B105 and said, I worked there for a little over a year. It's kind of like The Devil Wears Prada. Everyone is trying to make it to the year. She says that making it through a year on The Ellen Show was like a badge of honor to have on your resume, claiming that Ellen staff members were expected to work 10 hours shifts. To be honest, on a union set it's not uncommon to work 10 hour shifts or even 12 hour shifts. You essentially stay until you've completed the shot list. But union set workers most of the time are paid well. They got overtime, there are certain rules the union makes you follow, like if you work too late on one night you have to show up later the next day so that you get enough time to sleep. But apparently there's some rules that the Ellen Show doesn't abide by at least according to this former staffer. The former camera assistant said, It's about certain basic rights. Like you're asking to be paid your overtime, or you're asking for water on a hot day on a hot set, and you're being told things like, if you don't like it here, there's the door. You're constantly told there's a line out the door for your job, and if you don't like it here, you can leave. Not sure what union sets in the US are like, but on Canadian union sets, you do get breaks, you get overtime, you got craft running around with snacks and water like every hour or two hours, and if you want water or a snack between takes, you can grab some off the craft truck. There is a reason why there are unions for performers and crew. Without them, productions can basically do anything to their employees and pay them whatever they want. Unions are there to protect staff members from this kind of treatment. So if what this former staffer says is true, then that's disappointing to say the least and maybe The Ellen Show is breaking a few of the union's rules. One last quote I would like to share with you guys is a response this camera assistant had to all the celebrities coming to Ellen's defense. She said it was disappointing that people aren't believing the employees that are coming forward with negative experiences. People like Ashton Kutcher and Katy Perry have no idea what it's like to be an Ellen staffer and it's really unfair that they say things like, she treated me with respect. I was not treated in any way similar to how Ashton Kutcher was treated on the show. Adding, I wasn't even allowed in the same room as DeGeneres. Most people are told when Ellen enters the room, you and your entire crew need to leave. Sometimes her bodyguards come forward first and you kind of see them and you know to leave and that's it. Well guys, that is all I have for you on this one. Tell me your thoughts on this down in the comments. For now, I'm gonna quickly wrap this one up with some comment features. These are for my video, The Truth About Why Pokimane Quit. Blackie Sensei said, LOL, I always come to the comments when I'm early and I want to be featured. Oh, here you go. There's your feature. You're welcome. Sketchy Production said, when your whole team makes and edits videos for you, you don't really get burnout. Sorry. Burnout isn't associated only with creating content. It can also be related to the backlash and everything that comes with creating content. We have a team of people, but I experience burnout all the time. Like, all the time. It's tough. <laughs> Chris Eagleton said, I'm glad people are taking a break. I think a lot of people take YouTubers for granted. Um, I think maybe you're right. I think you may be right. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. See you guys next time. Just find all the Ellen bashing in one place. It's not Ellen bashing. Do I bash Ellen, Chris? Ah, he goes, ah! No. I don't bash Ellen. I rarely bash anybody. Why are you doing things? That Why are you doing these things? If, like, if you're doing bad things, I'm gonna talk about it. Just saying. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that was. But you put up with a lot in circum 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 circumcised
It's honestly a great movie. It's one of my favorite roles Meryl Streep has ever played. She she owned that whole movie. I would not have liked it if it, if it weren't for Meryl Streep. Oh, ah.